Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Journeymap in Minecraft 1.11 on your Mac. Before we get into this video, I want to quickly say that it is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you're looking for a reliable 24-7 and affordable Minecraft server to play multiplayer with all of your friends, check out thebreakdown.xyz slash apex to check out Apex Minecraft Hosting. Anyway, jumping into the video, this is a Forge mod, so the first thing you will need to do is install Forge. So to do that, go to the breakdown.xyz slash Forge, and then it's going to take you to this page, and it should say 1.10.2. What you need to do is hover over 1.11 and then click 1.11. The next thing you need to do is install the installer by clicking on installer. It's going to take you off to an ad page where it's going to make you wait about 6 seconds, which is perfectly normal. Go ahead and when that's done, hit skip right in this top corner right here. It's going to download Forge to your downloads folder on your Mac, and then you can go ahead and close out of that tab. The next thing you need to do is go to the third link in the description below, which is Journey Map. And once you're here, go to other downloads and make sure you download the latest release for game version 1.11. Go ahead and click on this right here. It's going to take you off to another page. It's going to say your download will begin in 3 seconds, and as you can see, it went ahead and added it to my downloads folder as well. So now we can just close out of that, and we can drag both of these files to our desktop. So the first thing you'll need to do is install Forge. So to do that, you just double click on the Forge icon, and it's going to give you this warning that says it can't be installed because it's from an unidentified developer. Now wait, if it doesn't give you this warning, that's perfectly fine, that just means you don't have Gatekeeper turned on, but if it does give you this warning, click OK, and then come down here to System Preferences. Once System Preferences is loaded, click Security and Privacy, and then once that's loaded, go ahead and click Open anyway, click Open, and as you can see, down here in the dock, it's going to run the jar file and install Forge for Minecraft 1.11. So once this beautiful window here opens, go ahead and click on OK to install Forge. It's going to download everything it needs, and then it's going to say successfully installed. Great. Hit OK. And then on your keyboard, hold Command and Shift and hit G, and it's going to bring up this window right here. Now this is your go-to folder window. It's how you can quickly access any folder on your Mac. What you need to do is copy and paste this, which will be in the description below. Click on go and it's going to bring you to this window. As you can see there's a Minecraft folder right here and that is exactly the folder you need. And then you need to go to your mods folder. But wait, what if you don't have a mods folder? That's perfectly fine. You can hold shift command and hit N on your keyboard and in all lowercase type mods and you will have a mods folder. Essentially now all you need to do is take this mod right here, drag it into your mods folder, click move if you have iCloud Drive enabled and then you can close out of that window. Now let's test out the journey map by going to our applications folder, clicking on Minecraft, and opening up the launcher. So once your Minecraft launcher loads, what you need to do is change your profile from whatever it is to Forge, and then you can go ahead and click on play. Once you're here, go ahead and open up a single player world. As you can see, we already have uh, Forge installed with the mods running, uh, as you can see on the main screen right there. But once your world loads, you will see up in the top left hand corner, or top right hand corner rather, that we have journey map installed. So apparently it says press J to bring up journey map and you can look at all of these awesome things on here. You can also do some options, set some waypoints and uh, do all that great stuff. So as you can see here, we have the, uh, the map as well. As you can see up in the top corner as well, every time you load new chunks, more will load in your mini map. Anyway guys, that's all for this tutorial on how to install journey map in Minecraft 1.11 on a Mac. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Before we end this, I want to say quickly once again that this video was brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you guys are looking for a 24-7 Minecraft server, check out Apex Minecraft Hosting by going to thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. You can get a server starting at $2 a month, but anyway guys, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you next time.